guys, this is Jim because as Brown in June, welcome to my amazing life today. So today I do it in a very different timing because yesterday I was like so caught up. So decided to do it in my office instead for today, right? Okay, so today I recently I just read this book. This book it's very interesting by the title itself. So the title is called How to Get a Positive No. So it got me thinking. Sometimes a lot of um, a lot of scenarios um, in our life is that we have no problem saying yes, but the real deal is that we have problems saying no. So when opportunities come, we, we just see too many opportunities and then we can't say no. So that's why I actually got this book. It's called How to, um, how to, say, uh, how to Get a Positive No, right? So the concept is very simple. So what I say is that if let's say someone requests you to do something, when you directly reject them, say no, I don't want to do that, people will feel offended maybe maybe you're scared of people feeling offended because due to fear due to guilty or due to a lot of different emotional baggage but then what is the right way of saying no without feeling without having a hard feeling right so let me give you an example so let's say um your husband or your wife is smoking in a house which you are non-smoker i'm a non-smoker but if let's say your husband and wife has been smoking in the house this is totally not what you want to do so there's a scenario a the scenario a is that you say hey do not smoke here i do not like it here guess what will happen you will get a lot of um resentment right oh my god why do you say in this way why do you say in this manner like why are you being so rude you can just talk nicely to me right so this is the first way of handling a no so eventually in the way that you say the no it may hurt the feeling which is detrimental for both and then secondly you did not you did not reach your objective you did not reach your goal so it's like a lose lose so the power of positive no the the method they teach is that whenever you say no you have to have this formula okay listen to this formula it's very interesting it's called yes no and yes okay so the no is actually in between so what do i mean by yes yes it means that you have to get people to kind of like have a empathize with you right firstly starting to empathize to get a yes and no you have to tell them that you you do not like it so it's a no that is where you want to stand on where you want to say no and the third one is yes meaning you're trying to get them to kind of like following what you are saying okay let's i know it's very it sounds very complicated but it's totally not let me give you a scenario of the scenario just now so i am a non-smoker but then my husband and my wife or is smoking at the house which i do not like it so this is the way that you should you should you can actually do it you say um hi, um yeah I, long time i never use a name right <laughs> so let's use amy hey amy yes i understand that uh, you need to smoke and then for myself i prefer the house to be non-smoking so uh, i'm so sorry that i think you shouldn't smoke in the house that's that's a no and then why not we can come to agreement that whenever you want to smoke maybe you can try to smoke outside so that both of us can actually have a really fresh clean of air what do you think so whatever Let's me, let me break it down for you. So at a first starting, I was trying to get the empathy from the other person. So I said, hey, you know what? I understand that you we like to smoke, uh, but then I'm, as you know, I'm not, I'm not a smoker. So that's a yes. We, we kind of like give a positive, right? Positive yes. And then in between, we um, complete with like a, a no. But then I prefer you to actually take these smokes outside. Um, I think you shouldn't smoke inside the house because it will actually, the, the air is like really smelly. And then last part is going to the yes. Yes means that we try to compromise. It's not compromise, I would say that try to find a common solution. So the last one, the yes will be, okay, why, give a suggestion, okay. So why not maybe well, while I'm here, you are you can actually, well, well, inside the house, right, you can actually take the smoke outside. What do you think? So whenever you get a yes, no, yes, you kind of tell people what you want without hurting the feeling. And then you also um, stand from your point of view to get the empathy at the end you also end with like a trying to get them to a yes so that's where you can actually tell a no without hurting the feelings does it make sense i know it is really cool i i just i actually did not realize that this techniques is a template it's like a template it's like a formula i've been using these techniques all the while trying to get empathy and i try to convey a no to other people by getting their understanding without hurting the relationship we are being direct 
but then without hurting the relationship that's more important because a lot of times when we say no right we we are on the verge of we, we scared that it's going to hurt the relationship so when you get this formula right yes no yes then you are actually able to uncover like a new opportunity how to say no and then that's you feel all right the other counterpart also feel all right to make a deal happen does it make sense to you i'm still reading like i'm only reading about um i think about 30 pages and i feel it's starting to be awesome and then as time goes by when i when i read more and more right i would love to share more details about this book with you guys so that you guys can just um check out my life and then learn a uh, new a new knowledge right so that's all i want to share today okay if let's say you're watching i always forget this please give me a hashtag live or hashtag replay or if let's say uh, in your life you have encountered such an experiences where you do not know how to say no because you are afraid that you are going to hurt the relationship or whatsoever feel free to give me a comment down below to tell me what's it's your uh, what is your experience or what is your learning point from this video? And of course, if let's say you haven't checked my YouTube channel, you should probably check it out. I have I uploaded all my 130 lives uh, into the YouTube channel. We also segregate into the playlist. But then, um, because we have so much, so many of videos, so it takes time to us to actually load everything in the playlist, right? So feel free to subscribe my YouTube channel below. And if let's say you want to get like free 25 minutes of um story closing techniques i'm using in all my business feel free to subscribe in the below as well as my client magnetization blueprint that will help you to get more business and more clients for your business so that's all with me our live today i look forward to see you guys tomorrow then take care bye